It's always been important, especially in the early years, was to remove um, what I think a lot of people refer to as maker's mark. You can tell by the, uh, how a thing is handled, uh, whose hands were on it. I didn't want any of that. I didn't want any of that baggage that went along with it. I just wanted the thing to be there no more than anybody thinks about a, the, a dinner plate in front of them. Uh, of course, we do now because of, of the historical connection back to, to factory maids. But at that time, that, that anonymity was it's kind of frowned on in some places. And cold was often a word that I heard connected to the work I was making. There just was no sense of the person. It, there was just a thing sitting there, which is what I wanted. Artists are, are actors, uh, or directors, let's say. They, they direct and then something appears. Um, and since I was a, a narrative person, a storyteller, I thought, I can't ask the, the characters that appear in my work to do something I wouldn't do myself. And so I started inserting myself in it. They don't always look like me, but there's something, often I had the same hair, the same clothing. I'm in there somewhere as a participant in whatever that activity is that's going on. So that's how I got labeled a punk artist in the 70s because I was using subject matter that you just didn't see. Polite people didn't make that kind of thing out of clay. You know, I thought nothing about sticking pens in people's eyes or, it was all very cartoon. In 1991, the Japanese government opened the Shigaraki Contemporary and they spent, I think it was two years, looking for 10 American artists that was the inaugural show there. It was called 10 Americans. I got picked. And of course, I was dumbfounded. I mean, the roster, you know, uh, Adrian Sachs, Betty Woodman, Ralph Becerra, I mean, heavy hitters and me. And I don't know, you know, it was like, okay, every pack of cards has a joker, right? I went over and, and they picked the work they wanted and went to Japan. and invited me over and uh, at the, uh, the festivities the night before the museum opened, they announced the acquisitions. He said, we bought this Mark Burns piece. And it was really funny, I just went, okay, so I'm having this totally surreal moment. He said, we chose it because we think he's the most American. Here's a Kleenex moment for you. The thing that I had pushed away culturally all that time came back and, 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 and confirmed what I had been doing. They authenticated it. It still makes me really emotional when I think about it. I went from being kind of a crackpot to actually being a sort of, I was no longer that, that weird guy. I actually had done something. I know who I am and I know what I've done. I'll be the first to tell you I've made some really good things and I've made some barkers, but that's just how it is. I'm restless, and so that question about what next, I'm not 100% sure what, what that, that is.